Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eritaba Gardens, Georgia Zone 7. My watermelon is packing up on me. I grew this watermelon late. Just as I've said in my other video that uh, I didn't plan to plant watermelon. But I went to Lowe's and I just saw it. I said, well, let me just try. But I knew that there's a possibility that the watermelon may not ripe. In fact, uh, a friend of mine, Mike, Chaotic Gardening, asked in one of my videos, <laughs> are you sure that this watermelon will ripe before frost? For the past two, two, three days, We've been having slightly freeze, freezy weather. And then now you can see that my watermelon are packing up on me. The color of the leaves are changing. No more green. They've turned to light green, some yellow. And uh, I planted three. One died on me, remaining two. And each vine produced one uh, watermelon. Now this one here is for this. It's for this here. You can see the vine. This is for this one. And then this one is for this one here. So each of them produce just one. And now there's nothing I can do but to harvest the two watermelon. It's sad that uh, I have to, but uh, next year, by God's grace, I'm going to plant watermelon early. I have some seed that I've purchased. So I'm looking forward to grow watermelon next year by God's grace. So I have to let go my watermelon from the vine. So I just Oh, you see, if you look at this here, it's almost completely dry. Now that is how you know, one of the ways to know if your watermelon is ripe. Now in this case, <laughs> I have no choice whether it is ripe or not. I don't have to to hit it to see if it's ripe. Whether I like it or not, I have to harvest it. Okay. Now this is the second one. And if you look at this also, it's almost dry, but the end part is not completely dry, but the other part is dry. But I have no choice but to harvest it because these leaves can carry it and they cannot take it anymore because of the cold weather. So now I have you know so I'm glad so I will take this watermelon in and I will cut it open and see if uh, the watermelon is ripe or not you know but hopefully it will be ripe 
hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will be ripe so that we can enjoy it. Okay, well, I brought them in, I've washed them. I've started cutting these, but let me finish cutting this and then we'll see. Oh, sorry. I almost dropped you guys. And let's see. This is how it looks. Uh, well, let's see if it's going to taste good or not. Mm. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> wow. Even though it's not as ripe as it should be, it still tastes good. Not as sweet as um, a matured uh, watermelon. But this is not in vain. I'm telling you, I can't wait for next year to come by God's grace. Because next year I'm going to start early. But I'm glad that it still tastes good not as sweet as i was expecting it but this is not something i'm going to throw away it's something i can still eat you know but i'm glad that all of my effort is not in vain i'm going to cut this open too and me and my family we're going to eat it we'll eat it with love it might not be as sweet as we want it, but we eat it with love. And next year, I'm going to start early so that uh, it will be very, very red. This is pinkish. It's not red. And uh, this is called a crimson sweet variety of watermelon. But I'm telling you, this tastes good. I'm telling you. Mm. I mean, it would taste better if it was really, really mature. With the inside red. Because the name is Crimson Sweet. You know? So, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the uh, click on the subscription button and next to the subscription button is the notification bell click on it and click on all so next time when i upload new videos you'll be able to watch those videos if you do not click on the notification bell there's no way you'll be notified when i upload new videos but thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video God bless you real good. Bye.